right, everybody, welcome to Smoker Bears. We're outside the bear cave today, and today I've got a brisket flat that I'm gonna cook on my mini WSM. I realized I hadn't done very many videos on the mini, so we're gonna go with that. And I'm running a new heat diverter in it. It's a 12 inch pizza pan. First cook on this, so we're gonna see how that goes. And today, I have a, about a three pound brisket flat, and I'm gonna run this uh, double action from Reload. Um, it's a sweet, smoky blend. We're gonna give that a whirl see what it's all about cheers so we're going to start with the uh, fat cap i didn't trim anything off this because i just don't want to being a little bit lazy we're just going to apply this rub all over it rub looks good so far let's get the side too The top, you see, I didn't trim nothing. This is how it came out of the bag. All right, now let's get it on the pit. And our little thermometer here saying 250. That's so let's just lay that in right there. All right, guys, let's take a look at this brisket. It's been on for, I don't know, three, four hours. I kind of lost track. But I know I just chimped it a few minutes ago, and she was at about a 160. So let's go ahead and get her pulled off and get her wrapped. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to put a, it got a beautiful color on it. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of W sauce, some Lee and Perrins, right over the top. And that's it. That's it. I don't. A little bit like that. Bring her in. Bring it up. And bring it up. Just like that. Go this way. This way. This way. And then this way. And we get it back on the cooker. Alright guys, it's been a long day. Uh, this thing is held about 225, 250. And then I stoked the coals. I actually changed out that heat diverter uh, to a, like a pie pan. It seemed like the 12 inch was just a little bit too big. Um, so, but once I went to that, got my coals stoked up really good. Here we are. This thing I just tipped it was in a 202. Felt really good, so. Close her down. No. All right, so this has been resting for like the last two hours in the microwave. So let's, let's open this up and see what she looks like. Oh, she's still hot. Oh man, look at those juices. You guys see that? Mmm. Oh boy. Alright, let's get this pulled off and put on the cutting board here. Let's get this pulled off and put on the cutting board. Boy, that's gorgeous. Still got a lot of juice. Look at all that juice. Let's go ahead and get her set up right here. Looks like my grain's running this way, so we need to cut against the grain. So let's, boy, it smells good. Let's see what we can do here. Let's cut a piece off. Got a nice little smoke ring there. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Let's get a taste test in. Alright guys, let's get a taste test in here. 
There we go. Hmm. Man. Fantastic. Alright guys, so R2 did a wonderful job. He held about 225, 250. Um, and then once we hit about a 160, uh, 160, 165, we wrapped it up. We jacked the temp up. Uh, put a little Wolfshire in the wrap, that was it. Uh, we put the temp up and uh, finished it out to about 202. Nice and smooth going in. Then we put it in the microwave and let it rest for two hours. And I'm telling you, this is good. This is real good. We're going to run them juices through a fat separator. And uh, when I slice this up for our meals this week, I'll, I'll put some of the juices back in. So, remember there's two rules in cooking. Did it taste good? And did you have fun? And I agree with both. Rock on. Have a great one, everybody.